You too. Boy, hey, it's been like a week, man. It's been a week. Hey, time check. Time check. 6.43, 6.43, but hey, it's been like a week, man. I, I lost my mic, so I was just like, bro, I'm not putting out the content that I want to put out, so I'm just not going to post. But I'm done with the excuses, man. It's a it's a chest day. It's a chest day. My little brother gave me the option of, do I want to do leg day or chest day today? And I definitely, definitely picked chest day because I'm at first Mondays. Mondays are for legs, for sure. But I was like, I got to find the the medium between my my workouts because once i do uh legs on monday chest on tuesday back on wednesday i did the whole body and on thursday i'm like uh i need a break so thursday be break day but i need to find a way to where when i get to thursday i don't want the break so now i'm gonna change it up i'm gonna try to do chest today uh legs tomorrow back wednesday and then hopefully I can double back down on another chest day right afterwards. So mixing and matching, mixing and matching the workouts and stuff. We'll see how that goes. But come on, man. Let's, let's see this morning weight, man. Let's see what we got. 209. Straight into the workout. We got these uh, sit-ups for the day. Alright, that was slight work. I could literally do F. <sighs> okay. Literally could do abs all day long. All day long. For anybody looking for abs or whatever, I would definitely say do anything. That targets me is lower abs. It's, you've never seen a six pack without the lower abs. If you targeting these lower abs, everything else is getting touched. That's why every every ab workout that y'all see me do is a lower ab workout because it's basically working everything. Like I do the crunches or whatever, but for for the most part, lower abs is is everything. That's gonna get you that V taper. That's gonna get you everything you want. That model line down your abs, two, three. So lower ab and dieting is definitely the key to abs. Seven, eight, nine. We got incline chest press. Like I told y'all. I love hitting the top of my chest. I, that's that's where I'm getting all of my gains from, honestly. And whatever you can do right here, you can do over there on that flat bench, any and every time, any and every time. I forgot my stand, so I ain't even gonna have no spotter today. I got I got my brother holding the camera today, so we we'll, we'll see how this go. That shit is heavy. Um, I don't know. I don't know how I'm about to do this with no spotter. Uh, I'm gonna definitely have to tell him to put that camera down. That was the first one. We'll see how this shit go, man. We'll see how this shit go. We was just talking about how the importance of a warm up, man. You gotta have that warm up because we thinking that we just jumping into our way. We warming up, but literally, me and him done did it at least two weeks in a row now. We just started off on weight that was actually our working fucking weight instead of doing warm-ups. So we'll see how this goes. We hitting strides now, like we, we getting into it. Like I said earlier, we, we just had to warm up, man. We got that warm up in and arms is moving. It's uh, 180, 195? 195, I'm going for six. We start, I started off at 175 for 10, 185 for 8, so this is 195 for 6 right here. Uh, 
I don't know what set this is, but I know I gotta do it four damn times. Hey, this shit getting easier. This shit getting easier. All I had to do was fucking warm up. That's all I had to do. Warm the fuck up, man. Front raise, I'm feeling every bit of that, bro. Like, goodness. Hey, I'm fucking with today's workout. Right now, we got 20, 20 push-ups and then as many as possible off the medicine ball. Fun fact, I used to do, I used to do 100 push-ups every day for like three, four months. So, push-ups and abs is pretty, pretty easy for me. <laughs> Oh, 20 regular, eight off the medicine ball. Shit, on to the next rep.